Friends, this past year has been a challenging one. Our daily routines were disrupted and our normal lives were put on hold. The constant state of stress and anxiety has left many of us mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausted. And celebrating and welcoming the new year may have felt, well, a little bit different this year. Many of us were motivated to start fresh and get our goals back on track and regain a sense of normalcy. Others may have taken this time to slow down and self-reflect, focusing on fewer, more meaningful goals. There is no doubt many of you have taken the time to create new goals for yourself, personally and professionally. But more importantly, however, is taking the time to nurture our strength and strengthen our goals as a couple. The importance of relationship goals, friends, cannot be overstated. Like our individual goals, shared goals add to our health and happiness, giving us something to look forward to while creating shared meaning and purpose. They give our relationship direction, just like a roadmap, especially when things become chaotic. You can always rely on that foundation to provide a sense of value, stability. Ultimately, friends, these hopes, plans, and values become guidelines for what the work what the future work will look like, what the future goals will look like. Dr. Carla Manley, a licensed clinical psychologist and wellness expert says, the most important goals to be setting right now are relationship goals. The relationships you have to these people will affect your everyday life. If you're happy at home, almost anything else in the world feels more doable. So friends, let's talk about, about accountability. In the book, The Power of Habit by Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Charles Duhigg, he writes this perfectly. Your odds of success go up dramatically when you commit to changing as part of a group. Belief is essential and it grows out of a communal experience, even if that community is only as large as two people. So friends, sharing and talking about your goals with another person motivates you to stay true to your values. Having someone that will share your goals, celebrate your wins, listen and support you through those tough times, through those struggles, Will make your goals more achievable and frankly more enjoyable. Shared goals, friends, means better choices. When couples work together to fulfill a common purpose and realize shared dreams, they become intentional in their daily rituals and, and their habits. And thus they make better choices together because of these specific goals. Shared goals create connection and purpose, friends. Talking about your deepest hopes and dreams will allow you to learn and explore something together that will inspire you. When many of us feel stuck in our relationships, setting intentional short-term goals gives us something to look forward to. In a really wonderfully done study in 2003 by Dr. Emmons, he finds, finds having another person to share a goal will be a constant reminder that, he says, goals are signals that orient the person to what is valuable, meaningful, and purposeful. So friends, envision the life you want to build with your partner. Ask yourself, what is valuable to you? What holds meaning in your life? What gives you a sense of purpose? And when decided on our short and long-term goals, we ask ourselves these questions to find what matter to find what matters most to us. We then set out to the, the job of priority creating prior priorities and reflect on habits and rituals to help us achieve these goals. Some of our shared goals, friends, include health and fitness. As a couple, we value health and wellness and fitness, and we make it a priority in our family. We've committed to eating regularly home-cooked meals with our regular pizza night on Fridays and reserve takeout for these very special occasions. We often cook meals together and try new recipes. We have found that setting health goals as a couple moves us to make better choices. We may choose to use our free time to prep and prepare. We use this free time to get caught up to get caught up on the mindless things that have happened throughout the day. Sharing this goal has created a deeper connection, not only with each other, but also with our kids. When we're in the kitchen making meals together, we are creating memories with our kids. Just as our parents had signature dishes we looked forward to when we were young, our kids now ask for uh, uh, my famous Saturday bread that I typically make for the kids, and they find comfort in the taste and the smells and the togetherness that comes from these moments in the kitchen. Hobbies is another shared goal that we have with my wife. While we have our individual interests that keep us busy, we value on having a hobby we both can share, making it a goal to connect and grow through exploring this hobby together. And one such hobby for us is gardening, from building our garden beds to waking up early together, fresh tomatoes to eat for our lunch. 
Guard is one way that we've connected as a couple. We currently have a basket on our counter right now with seed columns we've already started going through. We enjoy picking seeds that we love and try new plants every year. It brings us happiness. We can share this passion with each other. It's also been gratifying to grow our own food and share that pride with our kids. The kids just absolutely love it, love gardening with us. We've made it a point, friends, to also connect daily. In my wife and I's busy and chaotic lives, we can sometimes get caught up in our to-do list and the mundane things. We value and prioritize our connections with each other and have made a goal to connect daily and weekly with our weekly day nights. After our kids go to bed, our nightly talks and cups of chamomile tea have become a sense of comfort this past year. In addition to our weekly meetings, we plan for date nights when possible. The important thing is that you know, we make time for each other and to consistently create rituals and opportunities to maintain our connection. Finally, friends, our intellectual growth is another shared goal that we have. We love and we value learning. We seek opportunities to learn new skills that will make us better individuals. We decided to take an online course together and committed to connecting and sharing our insights on the content that we've read each week. It was a great experience that allowed us to learn something new and connect with each other. This has impacted our kids too because they will listen in on our conversation and during dinner and curiously ask questions. We've taken it actually a step further by getting having a goal to share one thing we are reading or have learned that particular day during our family meal. This is something we've grown to treasure and the kids love it. Actually, this makes me think of a story from author Leo Buscali in his book titled Love. It's a great book. If you're not read it, I really recommend you read it. He tells us how we were, he was the youngest of four children of Italian immigrants. He describes how his father, with only a fifth grade education, taught his children to respect and love learning. His family ate dinner together every night and his dad would begin the nightly family dinner by asking everyone at the table what they had learned that day. Sometimes the author would quickly scramble to find something in the dictionary so we have something to share at the table. He says this really beautifully. He says, in retrospect, after years of studying how people learn, I realized what a dynamic education technique Papa was offering us, reinforcing the value of continual learning. Without being aware of it, our family was growing together, sharing experiences, and participating in one another's education. Papa was, without knowing it, giving us an education in the most real sense. By looking at us, listening to us, hearing us, respecting our opinions, affirming our values, giving us a sense of dignity, he was unquestionably our most influential teacher. Isn't that a great quote? So friends, let's look ahead. Over the years, my wife and I have learned to weave together our personal goals, our marriage, and our family values in a way that strengthens our relationship offer us many opportunities to connect and strengthen our bond. Our ultimate goal is to foster a loving and meaningful relationship while also enhancing our well-being and the well-being of our family. So friends, we hope, my wife and I hope that you can reflect on what brings you value and what brings you meaning and find purpose in sharing the goals that you've set up with your loved one. Without you and your partner, whether you or your partner create a long list of daily, weekly, or monthly goals or to choose a focus on a few or more meaningful goals. Our wish is that each goal strengthens your relationship, creating space for happiness and well-being, giving you something to look forward to in the future. I hope we've inspired you to start your list today and embark on that journey together toward a more meaningful and purposeful life. I'm going to end this, end this talk today with a really wonderful quote where it says, the most important work you and I will ever do will be within the walls of our own homes. That's by Harold B. Lee. So friends, I hope you've enjoyed our little talk today. And if you really, really enjoyed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's right below and share it with a friend or a colleague. Until next time, be good to yourself and each other. Bye-bye.